there are these crazy things in the sky right now. It's so weird. Uh, good day everyone and welcome to today's video where I am in freaking Texas. So we flew into Texas this morning and to Austin and uh, we're here for South by Southwest just for a simple day, aren't we? Just a day trip. I need to go get my cowboy boots, so you better hurry up lunch. Also, this video is in partnership with Phoenix Forgotten, so I will be going to an event there tonight to watch the movie, so you guys will be coming along with me, and also I will be going to Phoenix, actual Phoenix, in this vlog too, so get ready for that! Ooh, look at this grass and this tree! And this boy. Uh, so I just took a really crazy photo. They have this photo booth here. And I was posing for the photo booth and I didn't know what I was gonna not like. So it was like a, a gif type thing. So I'm like acting all crazy in it. And I was like, this is gonna look so dumb. And then I looked at it at the end and it was all glitchy and cool. And this is what it is. This is what it turned out like. You're literally shook and shaken. I, I am a horror actor. Look at me. That's your second time doing that. Remember what? the first? You were an actor before. A horror movie, but they cut you out. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> but it's super um, cute here. So. I know, I love it. I want these fairy lights in our backyard. Super we have cute. them in our backyard. I'm already <laughs> hungry. We just ate. You're always hungry. Well, let's go get some food. Okay. Oh my god, you guys, there are these crazy things in the sky right now. It's so weird. Whoa, what the hell? What is that? Oh my god, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's gotten real wild out here. We have people on the drums. Mom, can you pick me up? I'm scared. <laughs> um, so now I'm currently in Phoenix, Arizona, where this whole movie takes place. So before I hadn't watched the movie when I was in where was it? Texas. Um, but now I've seen it. So it's so crazy to actually be in Phoenix where this whole thing took place. There's mountains back there that give me such Arizona like vibes and vibes from the movie. Um, currently just in front of this fire pit. So feeling a little storytellers too. But these cactuses are so freaking huge. <gasps> wow, are they pokey? Are they spiky? I'm afraid to touch it. Hello. Hello, cactus. Oh my gosh, she's a spiky one. Hello. Um, but now that I've seen the movie, it was so freaking good, guys. Like, I, I didn't even really know what I was getting myself into. But so much conspiracy about freaking aliens. And tomorrow I'm going to be interviewing some experts and eyewitness. There's an eyewitness that's coming in. Hello. Is there a focus? Um, so I'm super excited to talk to them and find out uh, hopefully get some truth to this because I personally believe in aliens um, So essentially the movie it takes place about uh, crazy like l they call it Phoenix lights sighting um, and it just like was a bunch of these lights in the sky and It's the most like documented and most like legit sighting so far, so Maybe I'll see something. Oh my god. I see the lights. Oh, that's just a star. Okay. Well, here we are. <laughs> Hello. You got some rotted teeth in there, I think. Um, so it's the next day, and we're currently just exploring a little bit of Old Town, which is um, just like this cute little street with all these little stores and whatnot. Look at how cute. Yeah? <gasps> oh my god, I thought you were sitting down with people. Oh my god, that terrifying. <laughs> I hate Charlie this so much. And Jack. I don't know, we're just exploring a little bit. I'm about to go do some interviews, so you guys will see some of that footage probably right now. I'll just show you some. Hello there, everyone. So I am here with Jake, who is an eyewitness to the Phoenix Lights. Uh, so I'm super excited. I need to know everything. So where were you in Phoenix when this whole ordeal happened? So I was uh, March 15th, 1997. I was a freshman in high school in Gilbert, Arizona. Okay. Um, and that's where, at the time of the lights, I was 
uh, in a cotton field with my friends looking straight up in the sky at them. So. And I need to know more. What did it look like? <laughs> what was it like? As any kid would, we were very excited to see them. We stared up in the sky and looked at them for, you know, quite a while. And, and we were excited, freaked out, but the adults were more freaked out. Did, like, you guys all think it was aliens at first? Or were you like, oh, it's probably, like, some At the time, be, being a 15-year-old, you 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 think it's something else you yeah know? but it was the reaction from everyone else so. oh my gosh i wish i saw it <laughs> based off the evidence do you personally think that the aliens visiting are friendly or do you think they're bad guys so i think that you know they're willing to watch and see what we do with this planet how we're going to get out of this tangled up mess that we're in right now so as humans you can kind of correlate this to when you're walking down a sidewalk and you see a colony of ants in the dirt alongside the sidewalk and you sit and you watch them and you see that they've got people that do this and this and they've all got jobs they all work together you might go over there and stomp your foot on top of the hill and then keep on walking down the sidewalk right we might be as as little as that to them do you believe in like conspiracies of or i guess not even conspiracies but like people being of or i don't think people realize how many people claim to have these experiences yeah. there are hundreds of thousands of people so an example would be a local one here travis walton uh -huh. uh, this is in uh, snowflake arizona he's a logger in the 70s after work a group of people were piling into this truck it was like seven people piling into a truck to yeah. go, go home but they saw this light in the forest well one of the younger guys you know was more kind of um um, adventurous he got out of the car this is Travis Walton okay he went close to the object and the object just kind of uh, had some sort of force blew him back wow. 20 feet his buddies thought he was dead and they were scared so they took off they uh, go back to try to retrieve him and he's gone and so they go to the police uh -huh. and I've talked to the police officer who was first there who yeah. took there and he said these guys were freaked out they were crying he believes them so they said well, our buddy's gone you know here's what happened we saw this UFO and I know it sounds crazy but we don't know where he is okay well I'm back now and that was just a little tiny portion of the interviews that I did I got so much crazy information from these people, but it was it would just be too long, but I found it so fascinating and so cool. And actually, since people have found out that this movie is coming out, there's been so many new like pieces of like people coming forward about their story, about their experience with the Phoenix Light. So, it's just so freaking interesting. So, you guys should definitely go and see it. It was like such a suspenseful movie and Ridley Scott is the filmmaker on this and he did The Martian and uh, Alien Covenant so you guys should go and watch it it comes out in theaters April 21st and let me know like what you guys think of it like do you actually believe in aliens do you believe this whole situation happened um I need to know your thoughts because Personally, I think it was real. I think that aliens exist. I mean, it's such a big universe that there has to be other things out there, but I don't know. Anyways, I love you all. I will see you all tomorrow. Good damn bye.